Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a scatter chart. Now, this is done in PowerView, and PowerView calls this a scatter chart. But for those that are familiar with Excel's bubble charts, these actually are bubble charts because we have your X, Y, and Z uh, axis. So the X, the X axis is our our birth rate, the y-axis is the death rate, and the size of the bubble, the population, is the is coming from the z-axis. Now, the nice thing about uh, doing this in PowerView, and by the way, PowerView is a add-on. It's a business intelligence add-on that is part of the Excel 2013 uh, Office Professional. So you can only have this feature available in Excel 2013 Office Professional Plus or Office 365 Professional Plus. And I believe it's also available in a standalone version of Excel 2013. Now, before Excel 2013, like 2010 and 20, 2007, uh, you could do something like this, uh, where you have uh, this bubble chart and you can animate it, uh, but you'd have to do some VBA. You have to put some VBA code in there. And I do have a video, and I'll provide a link to that on how you can do that in Excel 2010. But let me go ahead and show you this really neat feature. So basically what we do is we can press play and this is data from 1971 to 2010 and as it plays across the years it will move these bubbles and increase and decrease the size of the bubbles according to the birth rate uh, the death rate and the population size you can see Cambodia was very small but in 1971 as it but as the years went by 2010 uh, it got bigger as as the other bubbles here Angola and Bhutan this is only a small subset of uh, this type of data and this data is actually taken from uh, here, this table here. I've got my year, I've got my country, the country code. I use the country code for, uh, uh, in essence, uh, a, a, uh, a legend. Uh, basically, it's going to put it as a color, but it, it, color, it adds the color and aligns the color to the bubbles here. And in addition to the country code, these are my X, Y, and Z uh, axis. So my birth rate is my X axis, my death rate is my Y axis, my Z, which is the size of the bubble, is the population. So I'll go ahead and show you how to create this. And uh, let me go ahead and go to my uh, tab here. I basically copied this table. This is about, uh, let's see, 160 rows of data. I copied over here to this table. And you notice that there's a different color. And that's because this is just a range of data right now. What I want to do is turn this into a table. I can select anywhere in this range of data and go into Insert and insert table, click that, or I can press the keyboard shortcut control T, and that will bring up uh, this dialog box where we want to create a table. Uh, you can see the uh, dancing ants here, or, or the uh, this little marquee that signifies where the data is, is selected, where the range of data is selected from A1 to F161. Uh, I'll go ahead and click my table has headers because my first row is my header field. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now it turns into a table and it's named this table 2. So what I want to do is I'm, I want to create the um, I want to create this particular scatter chart, but not have it automatically select the things that the uh, things that are already in here because it's going to put everything in the table and I want to kind of selectively do that. So I'll go ahead and select outside that table and I want to go under insert and I want to go insert a power view go into the reports group and insert power view now incidentally this may be in your version of Excel 2013 but maybe it's not enabled so if you don't see this particular icon here this uh, this power view uh, command here you have to go uh, you have to enable it so you have to go under file you go under options and you go under add-ins and under the manage add-ins we have the com add-ins I'll go ahead and click go and you can see mine is selected here for PowerView. So if you have 2013, Excel 2013, and it is not uh, there, you don't see your PowerView icon, it may be your COM add-in is not enabled, so go ahead and enable that. Mine's already enabled, so I'll go ahead and click Cancel. And let me go back to selecting outside of here. Now I'm going to Insert, go to PowerView command here, click it, and now it's going to bring up a new PowerView tab or sheet. It's going to bring up a blank sheet to build our data visualization. So I have my two tables here. Sometimes they don't show up, so what we need to do is click on Refresh if you don't see the other table show up. Uh, table 2 is the one that I created down here. You can see that that is, if I click on the table, go under Design, that's Table 2. Uh, if I go to Demo Data, this is Table 1. So let me go back into the Power View here, the Power View tab. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and have my table here. I'm going to go ahead and drag uh, any, any one of these parameters up 
probably the best one is the one of the X, Y, and Z parameters. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this one. The birth rate was on the bottom. I'll go ahead and just bring it in here. And what it's going to do is going to start to build it. And I can start to see uh, a new tab here under design. So it's built it. And by default, it builds it as a table. And so I don't want the table. I don't want the table. I want to go yeah, select this and have another chart and select scattered. So once I do that, now we have different parameters here. And uh, actually, this table is kind of small, so I'm going to go ahead and increase the size. I'm going to take one of these handles and kind of bring the size out a little bit. And now I've got my X value here. I want to bring my Y value. Let me select that and bring it over here. And then I want to bring my population, and that's going to be uh, my Z value or the size. So once it's, got, once it's got that there, I want to go ahead and uh, bring the play axis, I want to, that's going to be the year, so that's going to be down here. And then I want to bring my country. My country is going to be in the uh, details. And then my country code, which is going to be my legend, is going to be under here in the color. So it's going to be the legend here. They call it the color. It, when, you, when you think about it, it looks like a legend, right? And so now this is pretty much completed. Um, I can go ahead and click play, and it's going to play. It's going to go from 1971 to 2010, and you can see the different countries increasing. There's a bubble size. The population is getting higher, but the birth rate is getting lower uh, for some countries, and Angola's right over here kind of being a little stable here with the birth rate and death rate uh, kind of like stabilizing here throughout uh, uh, the years there. So now to complete it, I mean, we can add a title here. We can call this, uh, I'll just call this animation animation of, uh, of four countries, I know. Not a real word, original name, but no, there we go. We can see we can add, add that in there. So there's the way we can animate it. it. In addition to just clicking the play button, you can actually scrub the timeline here. You can uh, click on that little handle there and kind of move it to where you want to see things. Uh, I can move it over here. Let's say I want to move to 1989. You can see it moved it there, and you can see uh, that snapshot there. You can probably take snapshots. You can take that and do a do a snapshot 1980, and then do another snapshot 1989. And you can take those two snapshots and put it into a PowerPoint deck or, or something else. So this is the way that you can create a, this particular type of animation in a scatter or bubble chart. Now, of course, in Excel 2010, uh, PowerView uh, doesn't, I don't think PowerView is available in 2010, but there is another way to do it. I'll go ahead and provide a link to a video that shows you how to do it. It involves some VBA, uh, a little bit more complicated, but it still can be done. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.